So we have two custom rooms available. Many users were wondering what's the difference between QPR 1 and the pre-QPR version or you can say QPR 0. So in my hands, I have two custom rooms available. On my right side, this is QPR 1. On the left side, this is QPR 0. Yes, in some of the custom rooms, the quick settings panel is kind of similar to QPR, QPR 1, but that's not the case. For example, if you use a Pixel OS, if you use Lineage OS custom room, by default, it's not there. Just we had some features backported there, but that is a different thing. For now, this is a by default thing. So as you can see in my left side, you can consider it as a Pixel OS custom room. Even Lineage OS has that. The stock Android has that. So similar things. But if we see the right side, Android 11, Android 16, QPR 1, we have a new quick settings panel introduced there. If you move on to app drawer, you will see some changes here also. Normal, Android 16, stable, even Android 15 and so on. We had simple app drawer, but in Android 16 QPR 1, we have a card style UI. You can see also the blur has been introduced. Volume panel has some tweaks in Android 16 QPR 1 as compared to previous Android versions or you can say Android 16 pre QPR version, which had simple and minimal looking volume panel. But with Android 16 QPR 1, things have changed. Minor tweaks available here and there. This is what we have. Also, the major change you will see in wallpapers and styles section. If you see, we have a different section. You cannot swipe between lock screen and home screen pre QPR. You just have to click on lock screen or home screen customization. This is how you get clock styles. But in QPR 1, we have the clock styles available here where you have these clock previews available at the bottom. Better UI, better preview UI, style, color, size, minor tweaks almost everywhere. And obviously, QPR 1 looks quite exciting. Many users love the QPR 1 update. Obviously, QPR 2 is also coming very, very soon. So quite exciting update is coming around the corner and many custom rooms shall adapt to that also. If you see, you cannot customize the default clock in pre-QPR. But in QPR 1, you can customize the width. You can customize the board, opacity and so on. That is actually quite exciting. Including this, if you see the shortcuts panel, let me show you if I click on apply on QPR1. If I see this shortcuts option, you'll see UI changes here also. In pre-QPR, we have a different UI. In QPR1, things have changed. On the left side, which I'm using right now, it is Android 16 stable version QPR1, or which is not there, which is actually QPR0. Or you can say even Android 15 has that, the stock Android has that, Lineage OS, Pixel OS, so on. Uh, but in right side, we have QPR1 based custom room available. We have Evolution XOS available. We have some other custom rooms available too. A lot of custom rooms are coming with QPR1. So you shall give it a try. As you can see, grid options were also changed with the latest QPR1. So we have small, medium, large and so on. But previously we had 5x5 five five or 4x4, four four, etc, etc. One more thing you will notice, theme packs, which is now part of latest Android 16 QPR1. For the Pixel devices, uh, it is available with the latest November update, but for other devices, for the custom rooms, it's not actually available for all. Let's move on to settings UI. You will see some changes here also. Like for example, the settings left side icons, the colorful icons are there. If you see the sound and vibration section, these sliders are also changed, kind of similar, like we just saw the volume panel at the starting of the video. And even if you scroll down or scroll up, you will see minor changes in the switches. You will see some minor changes in the layout. Some things might be changed, might depends upon which custom ROM you are using, but most of the things have some changes available here and there. If you see, if you move on to security and privacy options, previously, whenever you want to customize some things like enhanced pin privacy option, lock after screen timeout, you can directly open that. You do not have to fill your pin and so on. But in the latest QPR1 update, you have to fill your lock screen pin password. Then you can change the screen lock settings. A very minimal and simple thing, but it is available. Including that, the status bar, which is one of the main highlights, which I just forgot to tell, forgot, forget to tell you. This guide the new status bar icons and some more things. So definitely, this is about today's short and simple video. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like and I will see you in the next one.